Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're about to go into a shrine. Let's do it. I totally forgot to go in the elevator beforehand. It's okay. The animations are still pretty. My guess is combat shrine, if only because we haven't had one in a while. I mean, it's still hard to tell from this screen, right? Could be anything. Um, it's hard to tell. No? No, not a combat shrine. Okay. What do we got? Shift and lock. Okay. So we need to, like, combine metal and stasis, maybe? That's my guess. We'll see. So, I mean, this seems simple enough, right? Lift this up. Maybe move it over. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. So, we need to definitely, like, shift and lock, basically. You move it upward, and you lock it in place with stasis. Okay, let's see where we need to take this before we actually take it anywhere. Don't suppose this is a metal chest? Yeah, I thought not that'd be too easy. But, there is something over here we can move. Oh, I thought there was. I thought for sure something over here was glowing. Maybe not. All right, so we definitely need to get in there. That's obvious. Oh, we need to do it with the key. Okay, so somewhere around here is a chest with the key. Chances are it's this thing that it's um, it's on top of right there. So in order to do it fast enough, 9.8 meters per second is fast. So I think we got to drag this like pretty far up before we can lock it in place and go down, open up the chest... And they've got this pretty far. I wonder if you could put it on one of the platforms and lock the platform in place. That could work. Okay, so let's drag this up here. Might be able to put it on the platform. Oh yeah, there we go. That does work. And that gives you time to stasis. That totally gives you time to stasis. So it's not even all that tricky, even. Okay. That's good, because I'm going to tell you right now, there is probably no way I was going to do that naturally. Like, being able to switch over immediately is just not a trick in my purple claw here. Okay, that's probably not the one we're supposed to stasify, but it's fine. Oh, no, I didn't. I jumped the wrong. I did that wrong. It's okay. It turns out I still had plenty of time there, too. Good to know. Uh, that's the wrong one. I want to do that one. Um, getting to that chest is actually not going to be that hard. We just need to basically glide in place, and we're good. There you go. I mean, you probably could do the stasis here, but... Okay, so... Nope over here. And I could probably stasis like that there. That would work as well. So it's got to be a key here. Yep, small key. No worries. Alright, that's easy enough. And we're going to go ahead and grab this box as well before we pop the shrine. That just means you go all the way up. And looks like we just drop right down on top of it. Dead simple. There. Probably didn't even need to do that. I don't think we would have taken heart damage, but... Ooh, Royal Broadsword. That's nice. Of course, my inventory is full. Let's see what I can dump out here. I would like to dump... Well, I don't need two of these, right? I mean, the Guardian Spears are nice, but... I don't need it. There you go. Grab this. We should probably take pictures of these two. Who knows? Maybe we'll find, you know, a dozen royal broadsword somewhere. Probably inside the castle, to be fair. Right, pop this bad boy open. We got all the chests, right? Yep, we got all the chests. Great. Well, hello there, sir and or madam. 
again, these hats seem very popular, and I would like one. We're just going to go ahead and skip over this. Grab the spirit orb. Thank you very much. We're going to disappear in the ether. We're going to skip over that, too. Yep, Korok's like to hide in unexpected spots. I mean, who knows? So there's one more shrine up here that I would like to do. And that is in the labyrinth, which means we're going to be doing some left-hand rule stuff here. But it might as well, while we're up this far north, we might as well go ahead and do it for the red there. I believe it's the red one. It's totally the red one. Okay, good. I don't remember what the purple is, but I'm sure it's very important. Hopefully we don't need to fly there, but we'll see. How much you know how much I love this gold resistant gear? It's fantastic. Look how far the, the needle is for the marker there. It's great. Oh, alright. You missed me there, bud. Don't know if you know that. So he goes poof. And we really don't need your weapon there, so I'm good. Let's keep going. We're going to need more shields somewhere. Well, there was that one place that was all about shield uh, shield sledding, right? That place sold some shields. So probably we need to go there again. I forget where that was exactly. It was near one of the stables. I just don't remember where exactly. Come on, Ice I know you see me. I see you. You see me. It's a whole thing. No, huh? All right, what I can do instead is knock you guys out of the sky. I'm okay with that. Um, let's just use the Knight's Bow here. Oh, okay. I thought it was a decent enough shot to be able to do that. Apparently I just lost an arrow to the Ether there. Okay, do you mind... Remember this being a lot easier and letting me the past? Could be because that's a 2D game. I mean, he's standing still right there. It's like he's taunting me. Oh, they were a lot farther away than I thought they were. No wonder they didn't see me. So unfortunately, that other guy is just gone. This guy, don't uh, don't bother me, man. I'm gonna bother you. It's fine. Yeah, I think he went and ran away from me there. It's fair. I do murder a lot of creatures. To be fair, can't exactly uh, be too surprised when. All the wildlife wants to basically run for their run for their lives. Don't remember what this stuff is for, but it's probably pretty useful, so I'm gonna go and grab it. Cool Safina. I think that's actually good, because we we want to go to the Goron City pretty soon. As soon as we're done with this labyrinth, we'll probably do that. I would like to do some side quests too, and um, who knows what we're gonna need for that. don't see the labyrinth yet. I wouldn't necessarily expect it to be in the ravine. Well, the snow's apparently just slowing us down. It doesn't seem that deep. That was deep enough, though. Okay, there's a labyrinth there. Excuse me, folks. Again, shell shroom, really good for Goron. So this is great prep. Death Mountain, really, is what it's good for. I mean, the Goron City is definitely going to be good for that, but Hey there, how you doing? Okay, apparently you just missed me there. To be fair, point blank with a bow and arrow, not easy. If that goes poof, let's go ahead and get your stuff there, thank you. I think I already have, yeah, I have enough nice bows, I'm good. Oh, he has a, he has a thing. I thought I would hit him there. He thought he would hit me, too. I'm just wasting arrows left, right, and center here. So is he, though. To be fair. He just missed me there. There we go. Knocked him off his horse. Can we ride a skeletal horse? I wonder if we can take this guy to a stable. Oh, that's freaking tempting. That's tempting. Can we take this guy to a... St I think we should try. And we just have to find a way to labyrinth again. Okay, we just need to, just need to hold on. Okay, yeah, we. He's totally just ready for us to do this now. Okay, this is great.
This is fantastic. Okay, so we're going to leave this guy right here, and hopefully... Uh, do we need to... We probably need to turn him in first. I would love to go through... Yeah, I probably need to turn him in first, otherwise he won't be our mount. I see you over there, buddy. I see you over there. Okay. Let's do it. Where's our... So the next stable's way over here. But we should be able to get there pretty fast on a horse. Right, let's mark it. Uh, hold on. Let's mark this. Can I mark... Oh, I can teleport... I don't know if I can teleport on a horse. I think it teleports me off the horse. And it still says our other horse. Yeah, that's Roach over there. So we definitely don't want to teleport. I think we just want to mark... We we'll just get a stamp over, or yeah, there we go. Get that over there. I mean, this guy is three. That's decent. That's better than roaches. All right, we're just gonna have a little tricky. Okay, I did walk right into the rope there. Totally fair, or the rock rather. I think somebody's chasing me right now. Just fine. They can chase all they like. Who is this guy? He's a big one. Oh, it's one of these guys again. Nope, we're, we're getting out of here. Yeah, okay. He, he doesn't like me right now. He's probably going to shoot more, I don't know, ice arrows or electric arrows or something at me. Some ice keys, a big deal. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long on a horse. Basically, every time we get a second push here, we're going to go ahead and use it. the way back down to the stable would be great. What are we going to name this guy? I mean, I'm tempted to name all of the horses Roach because that's what Geralt does. But I don't think they're going to let me. I'm pretty sure they're going to say, you already have a horse named Roach. Pretty sure that's what's going to happen. Could name him Skeletor. Not necessarily a horrible name. Um, so our guy... That's the shrine over there. I think that's the... Yeah, that's definitely the stable there. Okay, great. Well, this is a lot faster going by horse. Should probably never walk again. Okay, so we need to... Come on, where's the stable? There it is. There's the stable there. All right. They are going to be surprised as I walk up in a skeleton horse. But this is pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty neat, right? I'll hit a little bit. Just going to make sure we get him inside before morning. Hello there. So ZL, and then talk to this guy. Hello. Looks like you got yourself a new seed. Do you want to register? Yes, please. What in Hylia's name? That's a monster, not a horse. Sorry, we can't board that thing here. It might eat the other horses. Aw, oh, man. Really? That's too bad. He's not going to board it. So don't get to keep it then. You sure? I mean, I would love to register this thing. No, it's a monster, not a horse. Not going to board it. Okay. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I came all the way over here, buddy. All the way over here. You tell me you're not going to board this guy? That's too bad. Okay, well, let's go. Chances are he's going to disappear underneath us when daytime comes, which is like an hour away. We'll see. My guess is he's not going to stick. We'll see. Let's see if how far he gets us. Of course, not running into trees would be a good step. Move it. Oh, okay. Yep, he disappeared. He kicked me off and disappeared. Alright, so that wasn't all that great. It was still a good reaction, though. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I do not want to follow the road. I'm going to go this way. I guess, hold on. These guys can pull Roach from the middle of nowhere, right? That's what I probably should have them do. Um, I didn't actually go that far, I thought. 
Apparently I went further than I thought. But I think having a horse to take us back over to the Labyrinth might be a good idea. It's too bad. I was really hoping they'd board it. But I guess making it... He would scare the horses. I don't think he would eat the other horses. I don't think he's the type. But I can totally understand him scaring the other horses. And that would definitely be bad for their other guests. So I totally get it. Um, Beetle is there. We should probably talk to the painter. Hold on. Is there a painter in here? You are a random folk. Harry Mary. Okay. Hello? I've traveled to the east and west in my great hunt for information. Now I find myself here in the freezing north. Where there was a stall horse in this area, but I can't take it any longer. It's too cold to look anymore. What's a stall horse? Uh. Beep beep. You just set up your knowledge intuition sensors. You're interested in the stall horse too, huh? Just want to see this creepy stall horse. Aw, oh, Shaz, I just had one. I literally was on one five seconds ago. Really does exist to be such a big scoop. But, well, I can handle all kinds of danger and hazard, but this cold, I just can't stand it. You know, this task for me, I'll even reward you. All I need is a picture or some notes. Okay, a picture I can totally do. There's a rumor that can be found in the stock. Yeah, okay, yep, 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 yep. I mean, I should have taken a picture of it, to be fair. I absolutely should have done that. I did not do it, though. Hey, lady. Why does people like wait the not necessary pursuit of power with some childish dream of adventure? That sword may be good for slaying monsters, sure, but it's not like a sword alone makes a hero, you know? I do love adventure. Huh? Well, I guess you did venture all the way out the stable in the mountains, didn't you? Okay, so I don't think there's a painter around here. Hey, Beetle. You must be so great. You do know what I'm talking about, right? Not a clue. But I'll see you, of course, anyway. I know you would serve a dreamer's dearest dream, isn't it? Having a sword that shoots light all wham and then mows down all kinds of monsters like a pow would be amazing. I mean, even the name, the sword that seals the darkness, just the coolest thing ever. Alright, so the monks there, I don't see a painter here. So I think we just didn't luck out. I can't pet the dog. Alright, hi there. Yeah. I want to take one out for a ride, please. I would like to take my horse. Roach, of course. Oh. Alright, they'll get Roach ready for me. They'll teleport him from across the eastern side. Hand him over. Oh. Yep, okay. If that happens, you can target the mountain for slow to move step to step. Don't put your horse in danger situation. Got it. Hey there, Roach. Good to see you, Roach. Alright, let's go. Good horsey. I mean, he can't move as fast as a stall horse, but that was still pretty nice to have, briefly. It is too bad we couldn't board him somewhere. There's got to be some stable that specializes in, like, monster mounts or something. That'd be pretty cool. Right, let's see if we can get around these guys. They shouldn't be able to keep up with us, I think. Oh! Killed that poor, poor fox. Did not mean to do that. Sorry about that, fox. Just completely murdered it for no good reason. Okay, we've already done that shrine. That at least indicates we're in the right area. And I guess we'll just remember... We're probably by the time we're done with the labyrinth, it'll be nighttime. There's a special saddle you can get that makes you able to call your horse from anywhere, and a bridle that adds a few spurs. So, well, that's neat. Alright, when we do some more side quests, hopefully that'll be on the list of things. So it should be... Is it up the mountain pass here? I don't remember exactly how to get there. I think it was this way. No, it might have been through the mountain pass. Let's see. Is it over this way? It might have been over this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was past this guy for sure. I'm tempted to fight him, but we don't really need to. I think we just pass him by. He's got some some kind of weird axe thing that I do not want to deal with right now. We can probably wreck him later, but 
for right now, let's just go. So he probably wasn't there at night. Well, no, he was there, because we passed him with the stall horse, so I don't know. Still playing battle music, but maybe it's all gone. He's not following me, is he? He's not appear to be following me. Okay, stay there, Roach. We'll be all fine. Okay, so, left-hand rule. Very important to remember left-hand rule. Assuming, of course, this is a proper labyrinth, and it does look like one. You've reached this point. Proceed onward through the maze, and you'll receive a blessing as reward. That is the idea. Trial on the cliff. All right. This should be fairly straightforward. Probably going to see some ice keys, maybe some ice slime boys. Or tell see what else. Oh, a lot of corruption, apparently. A uh, shit ton of corruption. So much for this left hand rule. I don't see any eyeballs to squish here. Yeah, I don't see a way past this. So that means left hand rule says I go the other way. Maybe there's something on the other side. We're definitely just keep on going left hand rule though. And whenever I see something interesting to the right, left hand rule is very important to stick to. See, no way through this corruption either, as far as I can tell. Alright. I mean, I could just power through it, but that doesn't seem like that's as intended. Let's keep our hand on the left side of the wall here. It's doing some interesting music right now, and I don't totally get Just keep on bouncing. We'll get there eventually. Probably be hitting Magnesis every once in a while, just in case. I don't know if necessarily anything's going to be magnetic here, but there was last time. There were some metal blocks we could slide around. Here's some kind of bad guy. I mean, as I could climb on top. Oh, hello. he doesn't like being on fire. He is not an ice guy, though. So this is probably a waste. But it worked out. He's dead. And just keep on left side. Huh. I'm in a shield. I like that. Apparently it's a brand new shield I've never seen before. Hunter's shield. Just pull it out a little bit. There you go. I like the rabbits on it. That's neat. Favored by hunters for a drop of design, which is said to bring luck on huts. It's easy to use, but its durability leaves something to be desired. That's fair. Somebody shooting arrows, like a lot of arrows. A meteor rod. Can't grab any more melee weapons right now, though, so I'm not sure I need a meteor rod right now. Ah, that guy over there probably killed the wizardos. Thought they would have gone well together. Try to hit him here. Uh, and the head would be great. Looks like we have lots of people to deal with. Alright, you totally... Yeah, there we go. He didn't see me there briefly. There we go. Set him on fire. Oh. Fire's gone already. There we go. Fires up. Oh, good hits. Good hits. He's going to try to keep me at a distance, isn't he? Except for that time. Alright, that helps a little bit. I mean, the meteor rod might not be bad here. If I can get up to him. There we go. I mean, I'll definitely take the Lizzle shield for sure. Take the Talon. Take the Tail. There we go. Do not want the boomerang at all. I think there was another guy, but we gotta stick left hand roll. So we're gonna stick to left hand roll here. That's a cool spear. Apparently I have not taken a picture of that before, so there you go. It is enhanced. What are my weapons like right now? I have, I guess I don't need another one of these drill shafts. This is my old one. Drill build is probably pretty low right now anyway. So I'll go ahead and drop this. 
And maybe then we'll grab the meteor. Yeah, this could be pretty good. I'm gonna bat at using it, but I, I can learn to get better. Let's keep on left hand rule here. So, okay, more lizard foes in here than I was expecting. Wait for that to come back, please. Oh, okay, that was a big hit. He knows it. He knows it. I put this away really quick and grab this out so I can use our shield up. There we go. That's just a regular little spear. Keep on left hand rule here. On the upside, we're getting lots of loot. Alright, not much here. I could climb to the top of the maze and we could find out what's going on there, but last time we did that, there were helicopters up top that were kind of enforcing the whole maze aspect, which is fair. And I don't think I know how to deal with those guys yet. Could probably shoot them in the in the engine that seems to be working. Um, but right now I'm not wild about the idea. Oh, okay, something over here. like a divide. What does this do? Nothing. Just light. Uh, we do have corruption here, though, that I do not see a way to get rid of. Hmm. And uh, we could try the meteor staff here. See if that does anything. I mean, it's neat. And it's neat that it creates little balls of fire, which is cool. Doesn't seem to help out too much with the corruption, though. So we'll keep the left-hand rules and see if we can find another way to make this work. So that's just another light up there. I mean, it, the stairs up is interesting, but not necessarily helpful. Alright, nothing over there. I probably shouldn't have looked to the right anyway. Wasn't time to turn right. If we don't want to get lost, we gotta do left hand rule up. And that means we just do the whole maze. So it goes. Well, lots of broken barrels. Can't really do much with that. Nothing. We are, in fact, gonna do the whole maze, aren't we? Well, we're still on the western side of the maze. I mean, that's something. But the entry one is probably on the eastern side. We'll see. Does this actually go to the... No, okay. It might go to the middle again, though. We'll see. I like that I'm providing my own light, though. That's nice. Not that I really need it, but it's kind of nice. And more corruption. Lots and lots... Oh, hello there. Uh, that was... I just needed the one arrow, apparently. Okay, well that got rid of a ton of corruption. That's great. I'm gonna keep following left hand rule, though it does kind of break my left hand rule idea now. We should definitely grab the chest though. What do we got? Okay, 300 rupees is not bad. It's a good find. I think that's the arrow I accidentally threw away. That's good. Well, chances are that opened up something for us, but I don't know what. Uh, no, don't, don't climb up. I don't think we need to do that yet. Well, now we're on the eastern side of the labyrinth. That was still a good find, though. I mean, that eyeball was blocking off a lot of stuff. That corruption was, rather. So that's good. We might need to do some of this map again because of that corruption blocking us, though. But we'll see. I'm hoping just following this path will get us there, though. So many different routes. Nothing over here. This does not look familiar. No, there's a lizard us there, so we have not done this area yet. Um, 
I mean, that spear looks similar, but I think they just like laying stuff out like that. Okay, he did not go... He did not catch fire, though, I was expecting. Oh, okay, I might be done. So what I probably want to do is get a real weapon here. That'll do. Oh, frickin' shield broke. It's okay, give me my other... Why does it have a diamond next to it? Oh, durability up. Okay, cool. Not sure why that is, but all right. Okay, didn't just flip to the wrong time. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Okay, I can't dodge out of that one. He tries to spit at me. He's bad at it. Up here. I flipped at the wrong time. It's all right. Spits at me again. Or he does that. That works too. Come on. Let's just flip at the wrong time. Yeah, like way too early. Come on, do it again. Oh, see, I'm, I'm just dodging way too early. There we go. That's what I wanted. There you go. Toad, so take that shield. Thank you very much. Well, I'm tempted to go that way, but technically, we were on the left-hand rule here this way. And the spear is nice, don't get me wrong. Or at least it looks nice. It's probably... I mean, again, 200 weapons is not exactly my forte. Huh. Spear there, making me think that maybe we've done this before? I thought we were paying attention to the map the whole way here, but maybe not. Fortunately, it does seem to be a smaller maze than the last one, but maybe we did loop all the way around. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, some of this is starting to look very familiar now. And it seems like we missed the whole southern part of the map, too. Well, we should just keep on doing left-hand rule. I mean, it hasn't really failed us. It's just the problem is that's a dead end. We know that. Uh, the problem is that the corruption was blocking so much of this area. Then now that it's free, a couple of spots have opened. We don't know exactly where those spots are until we get there. So we just gotta we just gotta trust that left hand rule knows what it's doing. Gotta believe in it. Might take us to the entire map, but that's okay. The how we mess out of the lizardos there, I don't know. Maybe he was just. I mean. Their camouflage works pretty well against me, to be fair. Being as an unobservant as I am sometimes. Oh, is that... Did I pass up one of the corridors? I'm trying to follow left-hand rule as best I can. I'm trying to make sure I don't skip any corridors. Okay, there's this here. Now, it could be left-hand rules only going to take it so far, but there is this here. Okay, let's keep on going left-hand. I mean, it could be I need to switch to right-hand rule, because there are stairs right there that I'm not going up. I mean, left-hand rule says, basically, if even if you see something to the right that looks cool, you don't do it. Not until it's its time. But we might want to break that rule here. And go down that corridor. That looks like it is graded off, though. Okay, you know what? We'll break the rule. We'll break the rule. It looks like it's going down the same passage as we've been going down anyway. And it looks like that's the passage we want over there. This is where the corruption was. This is all gated off. Okay, that's where we entered. There, and this is where we started going left-hand rule here. This all looks like it's gated off. But there is a platform here. Except it's supposed to be right here. Hmm. 
Oops, that's not what I want to do. I want to do this, just in case. No? Alright. Okay, so what we gotta do is go back to the beginning. Which is a nice easy circle around anyway. But the corruption stopped us from going down one path when we were doing left hand rule. And I don't remember where that is right now. So we start from the beginning again. Which is here. And we do left hand rule again. So this stopped us from going down this path. So now we do this again. So I'm pretty sure we wrapped around the other side of this, so I'm not sure what we could have missed here. We are going further away from the shrine, which is not my favorite idea. Hmm. I am worried about this. I mean, it's just going to take us longer, unfortunately. It also could be that this kind of map layout does not lend itself well to left-hand roll. Like, there's a lot of breaks and stop gaps and stuff in a single path. Not a single path maze. In a... And a maze without a lot of lot breaks in it. Breaks in the walls. Left hand roll totally works out. In a maze like this though, this might be the weakness that there's so many little divots and twists and turns. That you can convince yourself you've kept yourself Oh, what the bloody hell okay. We didn't touch this guy before. Freaking jerk. There. Alright, well, that's at least indicating we're in a new spot. That's good. Talking my nieces are once in a while. So, corruption must have been here before. That's why we didn't touch that before. So, that's a good, that's a good sign. That indicates that we're at least in a new area. Even if it's not where the shrine is, but that's at least a new area. And really, we probably want to do all the areas because, you know, loot. We like loot. Loot's good for us. Helps keep us strong. Oh, look at this. We haven't missed this before. It's great. Take this for sure. Silver rupee. Alright, it's not much, but it's, it helps. Alright, keep that left hand rule working then. We're in brand new areas. We do not want to give up on anything. I like the labyrinth music. It's like tense, but also somehow also relaxing, which is weird. That's a that's a tough balance to get. The tense but relaxing music. It's like I know what I'm doing, but it's also you know you might come across a minotaur at any time. I guess the closest thing to a minotaur would be a. Um, a Lionel, which would be really bad. Oh, a little bit of stone. That's a good find. The lamp down the corridor is where I skipped before? Yeah, but it was on the right, wasn't it? Can't go down the right until we go down the left. Eventually, that right will turn into a left. And then we'll be over there. But right now... Right now, we're still doing left-hand rule. Um, that chest, I think we've already gotten, but we'll look around here first. Yeah, okay, those are all dead ends. This we did not open. No, it's not open yet. Alright, pop this open. Edge of Duality. A curious double-edged sword crafted using the shaky technology. It's originally made from Riley Knight's unfamiliar with edge blade. My inventory's full. I would like to pick that up, though. So I will drop this crappy double axe. Oh, you know what? I haven't taken a picture of a lot of things here. Hold on. In my camera here, because I didn't take a picture of the Royal Broadsword. Did not do that. Pretty sure. Yep, did not take a picture of that. There you go. That goes on the list. I did not take a picture of the Edge of Duality, of course, because I just picked that up. That is a huge freaking sword. Back up a little bit. There we go. Uh, 
I did not take a picture of the Master Sword, though I can't drop the Master Sword anyway, it's a big deal. Great Frostblade I did not take a picture of. Well, that is a big, huge thing, isn't it? And I think one more. I think the Light Scale Trident was the one I'm thinking of here. There. All right. Should be good. Keep this left hand rule idea. There's gotta be some trick to open these up. Now maybe I need to go to right hand rule. If the left hand rule isn't working because it uh, supposedly works if you like mark down your paths, but we can't seem to mark these down. Hello. Got me some flint, got me some arrows. Some shrooms, because why not? This is new stuff, though, so that's good. But if it turns out that we can't mark the paths for whatever reason, it turns out and maze this big, without like a piece of string or something to trail behind us, we don't know exactly what we've been down. We could go right hand rule and see if that leads us down different paths. I mean, this seems to be working out, it's just, again, slow. I mean, that is a problem with left-hand rule. It basically takes you down the entire maze. We're about to get to the entrance again, aren't we? Uh, it's a little ways till there, but we're going to be close. There's got to be, like, a switch or something to hit here. Well, another chest. Assume this isn't Nocto. It's not. Okay, five ice arrows. Not going to say no to that. It's a good find. Okay, so these corridors here, this must mean something, right? Because this is a dead end for sure. And I can go back over this way, but I can't do anything with these. Yeah, they don't do anything. Alright. I thought maybe they'd be switches or something, but that was not the case. So I'll keep the left hand rule. So I know exactly where I picked up. Or left off, rather. So now we're just going around. So this place we've totally been to before. So there's not going to be any new territory here. So then we're just graded off. Which is weird. Without a switch. That seems suspicious as hell, doesn't it? Don't know why. The ceiling tile just looks different. Might be nothing. Yep, okay. It's fine. And this should be a, just a series of dead ends because this is the beginning of the maze here. Yeah, so dead end. Oh, okay. Hello there, Luminous Stone. Sure thing. I think we now actually have enough to turn in for another diamond, I think. I think we have ten now. Always like me some diamonds. I think we also managed to pick up a diamond from some kind of mining operation. Yeah, okay. So we're now back around to the beginning of the maze yet again. Well, not quite, but we're, we're nearly there. So I think left-hand rules failed us. Just too bad. I mean, it got us through a lot of the dungeon. Or a lot of the labyrinth, rather. But it's probably time for other tactics. So, one thing to do is we could leave stuff behind. Um, we do have a lot of random stuff we could leave behind, like monster parts or something like that. So we know we've been in certain areas, so we know um, we can avoid it. And move around. But yeah, now we're back in the area that's gridded off. And this is where the shrine supposedly is. And this would be right here. This would be the walk to the shrine. So we could climb up here. We have enough endurance, I think we can make it up. There's some lights around, but I don't see how that helps us. I don't see how getting on top helps us either, but we'll find out. 
Assuming, of course, I can actually make it. We might not actually be able to make it. Uh, it's gonna be tight. I think we can just make it to the very top of the labyrinth and see what we can spot from there. I don't think we're gonna be able to go down to the to the shrine, though. They probably thought of that. Well, I suppose I could use Rito's... Yeah, I could use Rito's jump to save us some time here, but that's okay. It's a little late now. We'll, we'll get there. But it's probably not intended. It's going to be very close. Very, very close. There we go. Okay, well, there's a chest up here. I'll take that as a reward, sure. What do we got? That's a good find. At the top of a shrine. Or top of a... And yeah, the top of a shrine. That's a great reward just for... Hey, congratulations, you made it up here. That's nice. Won't be able to do anything up here, but it's nice to nice of them to give me a, a nod anyway. Alright, so... There's got to be a switch or something to... Get those uh, grates to go down. I've already been all over the place here. Well... Uh, it's interesting, like a diamond pattern too on some of these. So I'm not sure this helps. Being up here, I don't see any switches. If I look down, I don't see any switches either. And we would have encountered them at some point. But here, left hand rule is probably a little easier to adhere to. Because then at least it's a pattern. As long as we don't do any jumping, we should be fine. But it's going to be a little hard to spot some of the switches or bad guys from all the way up here. So this probably is not, again, as intended. I'm going to go back down. I could jump. Oh, okay, that was a big slide there. I guess it is snowing, to be fair. And this pillar just out in the middle of nowhere. Wow, okay. I mean, that's a bit of a drop. We should probably just... Hmm. I was going to say start over, but... Man, here we are again. Okay, I must have missed something. So, right hand rule? We could do right hand rule. I'm not sure it would help us, though. Because it's basically the same as left hand rule, just in the opposite direction. Okay, let's circle around this shrine. There's got to be something I'm missing about this. There's a shrine there. The lights are lit up. The corruption's no longer blocking it, though, so there shouldn't be anything... There must be a switch or something. There's got to be. It's not around here, though. It's not directly from the shrine, though. That'd be too easy. Huh. I mean, it's nice to be able to see the shrine, but... That's all we can do right now. And that's the door right here. It's where I need it. Right here. Let me in! Let me in! They won't do it. They won't let me in. I mean, that's obviously the way in, because it's directly from the mark there. Okay, so right-hand rule, then. Oh, the right-hand rule will just take me around in a circle around the shrine, which is kind of hilarious, but not helpful. So right-hand rule from here. Although it turns out that's just going to take me more or less in the same area as left-hand rule would have, but maybe it'll have a change-up. We're going to hug the right wall, though, as we go around. And it might take us to different spots. You never know. I mean, you might know. And this seems pretty familiar. I mean, the real trick... We have to remember all this, and of course I'm not going to do that. The real trick will be to... Uh, 
probably drop down some items. I kind of don't want to do that. But it is the trick that, um, shoot, what was the name? The guy who went through the Labyrinth of Minos and fought the Minotaur. Totally forgotten his name now. Shoot. Is it Theseus? I want to say Theseus, but I don't think that's right. Anyway, he had string he took with him into the labyrinth so that he would know where exactly he went so that he wouldn't get lost. That's the guy we want to mimic right now, probably. Because not only did he not get lost, he also defeated the Minotaur at the middle of the maze. Was it the middle? I think the Minotaur just eventually finds you if you wanted to the labyrinth long enough. I don't think he necessarily waits for you to reach his lair. I mean, that's his home. Gotta defend your home before they actually get there, right? That would make the most sense. That's why battle lines are drawn the way they are. That's a weird little texture problem right there. That's weird. What's that all about? Could just be the way the light's done, but there's a ladder. Okay, right-hand rule turns out to be more successful than left-hand rule. Because this is new. This has got to be it. This has got to be like hitting a switch or something. Or we just go over the top and drop into the shrine. That's exactly what happens. Okay, I'm good with this. Any chests up here or anything? Nope. Okay. Great. Well, left-hand rule let us explore the labyrinth, but it was right-hand rule that let us actually get to the shrine. Kind of weird the left hand rule failed us, but again, not infallible. So we should just be able to go in here and just claim the reward. Because the labyrinth itself should have been it. Now there's possible if the guardian or whatever you want to call this guy um, is actually kind of a dick, he could give us a combat trial as well. But I mean, the Lizard of Hosts was in here, so it seems like that in itself would have been a combat trial. Yeah, okay. Just straight up reward then. Yep, proving my worth. Damn skippy. Right hand rule, save the day. Let's see what he's got here. Shield? I would love another shield. Barbarian leg wraps. Okay. I mean, the attack up's nice. The defense on it, though, is kind of shit, I'll be honest. All right, so this will make for spirit number five, I do believe. Let's skip this. Oh, six, actually. Okay, great. So two more. And we can get more stamina. Oh, Labyrinth of the Barbarian set. That does make kind of sense. That does make kind of sense. I mean, what would you call the Minotaur but a kind of Barbarian? All right. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm PC Universe. You're PC Universe 2. I'll see you guys next time.